Ah, let's go on YouTube. Well, started out today with two loads. One load finished a little tight because there weren't no pickup number. Um, but the only thing good about it is that a live unload turned into a drop and hook. So that, that that's a plus right there. Um, but the second load now, where the first load was messed up with no um, pickup number or nothing, I ended up being 45 minutes late here, so I can still see peeking around the corner is a red light. So if we can get that red light to go green, we can get out of here and go make our delivery. Now, both loads, um, this one right here is paying $1.70 um, to go 160 miles. Um, the one that I picked up this morning that was going... 112 miles paid 226. Um, so, grand total of today, come on, buddy, come on, come on. Um, grand total of today was almost $900. So, we picked up in, come on, buddy, easy, easy. We picked up in um, Fostolia over there at, um, Oh, anyways, over there. And we brought it down to Vandalia. Like I said, it was supposed to be a live load turned into a drop and hook, so you can't go wrong there. This load right here is a, is a live load. Pick up here in Columbus. And I'm bringing it down to Moorhead, Kentucky. Come on, baby, sit down. Come on, sit, sit. No, we're not going. We just came in. We're not going out. Um, and this is a drop and hook when I get it down there, as soon as I can get it there. I mean, I'll be there today. So there's no problem there. I'm just hoping I can get down there and have enough hours to get out. Because I ended up having to wait an hour and 45 minutes to get my the first load. Can I get out of the way? Oh, thank you, buddy. And um, so that's not too bad. Last week, like I said, was real good. I'm going to get my numbers of last week, only last week, and sign them all this right here. Because this week turned out to be a pretty cool week. Now, if I can do the same thing on this week here, then we'll be doing real good. And that's what I want to do. Um, truck's all right. Truck's running. Um, she just had an oil change. I gave the um, APU an oil change. And uh, all the filters. Because she was smoking. I had it done at the TA. What, about three weeks ago, and every time it would start up, it would just smoke and smoke. So I went out there and looked, and they didn't even change the filters. And it's like, why why even go in there? TA and Petro can go, go fly a kite because I'll never go back to them ever again. So my, my to-go place now, because they did a good job, um, Speedco. So that's where, that's where I'll be getting mine done. Um, except for my next, on the Thermal King, the next one that I have to do, I'm going to go to Thermal King, and we're going to have do a tune-up on it, get a new spark plug, new belts, and I'm going to have a new alternator put on it. I'm going to have a, um, high output alternator on it, so that I can run the dang microwave without having to stop my truck up, because it's starting to really get on my nerves that you can't, can't run it without... You know, without running your microwave, without freaking think chiming or anything like that. And it takes too long to, to kick on. I want to get that adjusted. Now, I'm thinking about getting it adjusted to where it pops on at about 12.5. Because this thing waits until it gets all the way down to 11.1 before it pops on. But besides that, it's a beautiful day out. Almost 70 degrees here in Columbus. That's not too bad. Like I said, we're just sitting here waiting for a green light. And then we'll run down and get this load delivered. Um, it's only supposed to be 160 miles, so we'll see. But I should that's about three hours. Well, roughly three hours. Now when you go a little bit 
quicker. You know, that's going to go, you know. I'm going to go and get that. Because the first load was only supposed to be um, two pallets. But I don't know what happened to the trailer that, that it was on. They ended up putting all of it on one one trailer, so it ended up being 45,686. Man, thank God I didn't have to go over any scales. Because that, that, load, that load was heavy. But we got it dropped off. This load right here is going to be heavy too. I just wish you got paid more for the heaviness of it. Because um, I, I cannot... I mean, I've been running heavy for a while now, and it's getting aggravated. I like to start running some light loads. But right now, we can't 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 complain about the loads right now. You can only take what you can get, you know. Got to get this product moving so people can have stuff on the shelves. And that's what it's all about. So besides that, yeah, I'm doing doing good. Not depressed anymore. Not suicidal anymore. No, no, no more dark thoughts. Doing pretty good. You know, I mean, I've, I've always had my bills paid. I just have some back bills that need to be paid, and that 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 was kind of putting me down, you know. But now I don't have to worry about it. So we'll be all set there. But besides that, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of, you know, there ain't too much going on, and. We're doing pretty good, getting everything done, what needs to be done. So you know, two loads in one day, you you can't you can't beat that, you know. Not for, excuse me, not for almost nine hundred dollars. So like I said, I just wanted to give you guys heads up. Um, Max Rue's doing doing good. Let me give you guys a little. He's down here on the floor. How are you, friends? Hi, friends. Yes, you guys are dead. Yes, you guys are dead. All right. He wants to jump up here, but I got a cigarette, so. Ah, but anyways. So let me keep this short. I don't want to make a long video. Um, I like to say thank you to the new subscribers that came on, and I like to say thank you to the ones who stuck around. And be safe, and we will talk to you guys later. Alrighty. Bye.